I'm uh, Barry Scannell, I'm the parish priest of St Mary of the Angels and I have been since 2010. St Mary of the Angels is a church that the Marists have been ministering in since 1875, so really right from the beginning of the um, parish here in central Wellington. There's great support for St Mary of the Angels because so many people, it means so much to so many people, so many significant occasions have happened for not only parishioners but for many, many generations of Wellington and New Zealand families. Our mission statement really is that we are an oasis in the middle of a busy city. People in the city, not Catholic, who often would come to St Mary of the Angels at the beginning of the day, just for a quiet few minutes, maybe just to light a candle, which is well known to St Mary of the Angels, and just to have a time of silence and, and solitude before the, um, the beginning of the day. We were working on the seismic strengthening plans for the church. Before the first Christchurch earthquake, we had three potential options, but once the enormity of that second quake took place, we then had to expand our options, and we had five uh, seismic options to choose from before we decided on how we were going to do it. Stage one is mainly the foundational work, so it will have all the work underneath the floor slab, the piles and there's two shear walls that we'll be putting in to help the longitudinal strength of the building. And so everything below the floor and the shear walls will be contained in the first stage. The second stage then will involve the columns, replacing eight of the columns and also replacing the portals and the roof structure. I'm a site manager for LT McGuinness. This is a seismic uh, strengthening job and so my role is to organise activities on site and make sure the guys are on task and just generally see that things on site are happening as they should. I like, I, I like everything about construction to be honest. I love the people that you meet, uh, I love the team feel and working as a team and uh, I particularly like earthquake engineering and uh, strengthening buildings and particularly buildings with character and the buildings that are a bit of a landmark. It really gets me up in the morning and uh, that's what I love to do. It, it is an ambitious project and I'm told by the engineers that it's a very challenging task to strengthen the um, building at the same time as keeping everything intact and so we've been extremely fortunate, LT McGuinness and their expertise and uh, love for the project, but also we've been blessed with um, the expertise that we've had from engineers who are probably the best seismic engineers in New Zealand as the peer review people. Okay, so what we're doing here is a bit of a sample mock-up, or prototype you might call it, of the column formwork. What we're hoping to um, achieve is uh, to match the original uh, shape and form as, as much as we can. Um, one thing that we're trying to balance here is, is make sure that the the columns uh, perform seismically as, the, as they need to in a sort of engineering sense, but we also want to try and uh, retain as much of the, you know, the original form and fabric. So a few columns here and there will be replacing, and this is basically a resin mould to get that exact shape of the, of the new, uh, new replaced columns. Here at St Mary's, it's a pretty special building really, it's got a, a great vibe, it's used as a place of worship for a hundred years now, it's a great place of community, it's a very special building with a lot of cultural heritage and a lot of um, heritage value, so uh, yeah, it's a privilege to work on this building. We have had tremendous support and we needed that to begin the first stage and that has been just humbling to to see the people who have stepped up, uh, not, not only parishioners but the wider Wellington community and even throughout New Zealand to get to that first stage because we couldn't begin any work until we had that money for the first stage. 
Uh, that allowed us, because we had one third of the, um, uh, the total cost, that allowed us then to make application to lotteries and we are wait awaiting and hoping for a generous response from the Lotteries Commission. So it's been a learning curve in terms of the, the unique challenges that this job will face. Um, dealing with 100 year old drawings for old obstructions and things like that and making sure you meet all the archaeological requirements as well. And, uh, and just doing everything really, uh, really carefully and thoughtfully um, out of respect to the, um, the nature of the building really. So I think the story of St Mary of the Angels has always been a test of faith and this uh, current project will probably be the biggest test of faith. But I believe that because people love this building so much, uh, I think that people will rise to that uh, challenge.